So my SNB air filter came in today and I was really excited to put it in. I pulled my stock air filter out and you can see that it has a little bit of bypass there. So eventually this sealed, but initially some dirty air got passed. It's just really fine stuff. And luckily there's a secondary air filter to catch it. But you just look at the sealing surface of the SNB versus the OEM. Your OEM seals here and at the top. SNB, it's got a molded end caps, so it conforms to this a lot better than relying on the crush of your foam. And it not only seals here and here, but you have multiple ridges here that also seal on the inside. Your OEM filter does not seal here. So, it seals on the inside there. I don't know my phone's kept, my phone's capturing that. And SMB, you guys need to put this on your website because that's one advantage to, you know, obviously I'll go over the other advantages, but, you know, on both sides, it has more sealing surface. Right here, you have multiple rings to seal. And it also seals on the inside of the housing, whereas the OEM, it does not seal on the inside of the air filter housing. So just from a sealing perspective, the s and is superior. Now, you know, you, you mentioned aftermarket air filters, and if they're not oiled, people go on a crusade. Guys, this is not a paper air filter. This is synthetic media. And technology's advanced since the K&N days. This isn't oiled gauze, you know. This is washable, just like your OEM or standard oil filter, but you don't have to mess with the oil. The other thing is, you know, if, let's say I'm lazy and I don't want to do a full cleaning, even though these are easy to clean. You don't need any special solvents, soap and water. Um, let's say I want to do a, a, a lazy cleaning. Just pull the filter and tap it out. I can tap the loose dirt out of this. With a foam element, you can't tap that dirt out. You have to take, you have to use a mechanical method and you, most guys don't really do that. They, they wash them. Now, you can buy pre-filters, but really, you know, the, the YXZ, I'm spoiled because it's, it's so easy to work on that aside from the drive shaft, this is the next most tedious thing to, to do for maintenance. If I wash this and want to put it back into service, it's not going to take hours on end to wait for it to dry out like this. And cleaning it alone, you guys know what I'm talking about. Cleaning an oiled element is a pain in the butt, as well as re-oiling it. So, s and it is. Maybe I'll get some mileage on here, take it out and tap it out. But really, just I'm really impressed with the design.